the goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, this is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another tutorial for you. This one is how to edit your PS4 saves, okay? Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions in the comment section on the past videos I made about editing your uh, PS4 saves, whether it be on the Save Editor, uh, Save Wizard, or the um, Red Redemption uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 save editor, okay? So it all starts off with getting your save from your PS4 to your PC, okay? So I'm gonna show you right now what you want to do is first turn on your PS4 And then you want to go up to settings right here Then when you're in settings you want to go down to Application save data management, okay? Now uh, before you click on this make sure that you have a USB already plugged in to your PlayStation 4, okay? That USB needs to be formatted to FAT32, okay? That's FAT32, all right? But for right now, make sure that you have your USB plugged into your PlayStation, and we're gonna click on Application Save Data Management. All right, if you have any applications running, it will have to close it. So let's go ahead and close it. All right, now that we're in Application Save Data Management, we want to go right here, save data in system storage. Now, if you look at the second option, it will say copy to USB storage device. That's the option we want to select. Let's select copy to USB storage device. Now, from here, you're going to be picking the game that you want to save to save to your USB. Okay, so we're going to be picking Grand Theft Auto 5. And in Grand Theft Auto 5, you will see all the saves that you have saved on that game, okay? I like to pick the uh, very first couple of saves out of the saves that I like to edit. So I'm going to be picking this one right here. This is like my first, um, official, my first latest save right here, okay? So um, the save that you want to get is this save that is highlighted right here. You don't want to get the backup and you do not want to take the auto save, okay? You want to take the save right underneath the backup, okay? The backup is just um, another save of this one right here. It's just the backup of it, okay? You want to take the original save, okay? So I'm going to take the original save right here, uh, which is a Starlit in Vinewood. And I have 7.7% progress in it, okay? I'm going to take that. I'm going to check it first right here. I'm going to check it. And then I'm going to go over to copy and I'm going to click on copy. And as you can see, it's copying that save to our USB and your USB should be lighting up red right now or whatever color that it lights up. Once it's complete, we'll be back in this option right here and we could just back out by pressing circle on our controller. All right. Now we're all done with that. So this will be how you will get your uh, PS4 saves to your uh, USB and then take your USB to your PC okay all right now that we have uh, successfully got our save from our PS4 onto a USB we're gonna bring our USB to our PC when you insert your USB into your PC a window should pop up like this right here which is a USB drive it's gonna be whatever drive on your computer and you should see a PS4 folder okay we can just go and minimize that window from right here we want to open up save wizard I will have a link down in the description on where to download Save Wizard at. It will cost you $60 for the activation key. It's a one-time fee, and from that point on, you can use it however many times you want to. They have tons of games available inside, and they're always updating and adding cheats to new games, okay? So uh, once we open up Save Wizard, click OK. Then we should see our save right here, okay? It's important that you see your save right here in the cheats column and not, and not in the resign, okay? You have to see yours right here. As soon as you click OK, you should see your save right here. All right, once we see our save, let's click on it right here. Then we're going to right click on this blue bar right here. Then we're going to see advanced mode. Let's go ahead and click on advanced mode. Give that time to load up. All right. That could take a minute. Uh, once the advanced window was opened up right here, we want to click on right here, export to file, okay? Click the second icon to the last, this one right here. 
going to click on that another window is going to pop up it's going to ask where do we want to save our um, extracted save we're going to save our exported save right here to our usb okay remember the usb i brought up earlier and it had our ps4 folder inside we're going to save it right here so we're going to click save all right then we can minimize the advanced mode window minimize it do not close it all right once that is minimized um this open up our window with our usb and you can see we have our um, exported extracted save right here on the usb okay we can go ahead and minimize that right now now let's open up our gta save editor i will have the link in the description to that one as well so now that our save editor is opened up let's click grant that photo 5. all right and you could click sign in i'm going to sign in um, if you don't have a account with save editor feel free to go down to the website and sign up it's all free you're just registering all right now we're going to click on open file okay once you click on open file you want to go down to where your usb is at right here once you click on USB, you should see the exported save that we just exported. We're going to click on that save right here and click open. Do you want to make a backup before editing? Always click yes. Always click yes. All right. All right. Now here, this is where you will be able to edit your saves. Okay. Um, everything from the characters. If you click right here, you get to change the character from Franklin to Michael to Trevor. Okay. And whatever character that you choose, you get to go ahead and edit their health as well as, um, what's this right here? As well as their armor and their special ability. Okay. And if you click max this box right here, this will give them the max amount of money. Okay. Now this right here will um, adjust their wanted level. If you want them to have a wanted level when you turn on the game, you could adjust it here. Um, right here where this car is at, you can edit the current vehicle that the character is driving right now. Um, or you could click on garage and you can edit all the cars in their garage or at the impound or the car that they're driving and the car at their house okay uh, we're not going to go through every one i'm just going to go through them briefly the categories and let you know which each one does um, but i will have videos that i will make or have made that i will link down in the description and i will make newer videos on how to um, edit your character's clothes for bringing them online for transferring the director mode outfits online but uh this one right now is uh solely intentionally just for people to know how to get their saves from the ps4 to the pc and then extract your save using save wizard and then opening up save editor and editing that save okay so um next down we have stats right here you could edit your stats um like i said the garage earlier this is where you could edit all of your character's cars um since we are in franklin right now this is what i have in franklin's garage all right and if you click on right here this is where you get to change the location of the cars as you can see the first one is Grove street garage and then you have the uh, international hangar the helipad um dale marina um the car that you are driving or the actual car that the character has um, each character is assigned the car franklin is assigned the buffalo um Trevor is assigned the, the boat, Bodhi or whatever, the truck that Trevor drives. And then Michael is, of course, assigned the Audi looking car. I forgot the name of it. Um, but this car right here will mean the car that each character is assigned to drive. OK, and then um, bike and impound. OK, so all these places you can edit where the cars are at. So impound Franklin has none on his character. So you could go ahead and edit right here by clicking right where it says none and this is where all the cars is at okay they will let you know if this a regular car or if it's a dlc car uh, most of the newer cars um, from the last update from the arena wars update will be up here with the star in front okay now when you uh pick one of these cars and um 
take them to story mode, they will disappear. The only cards that won't disappear is from, uh, I believe, Doomsday Heist and Below. Okay, so every DLC from uh, D every DLC from Doom's Heist and before that, you will be able to see the car. Every car from Doom Heist forward. It will disappear once you bring it into story mode, okay? I hope everybody can understand that. Now, this is where you will pick your car. I'm just going to pick uh, something real quick, okay? Once you pick a car, you will see the picture over here. And this is where you will make all of your editings uh, to your car. All your cosmetic changes, including your Benny's wheels, you can add to the car as well, okay? Now, let's go down to the next one. Uh, this is missions. This is where you can edit the missions. Um, as you can see, a few of them have dots and the rest don't, which means that I haven't completed none of the mi none, of, none of the other missions and I haven't started any of the other missions as well. Okay, so you could go ahead and click on one of these, excuse me, and then you could click on the box right here that says completed. All right, once you click on the box that says completed, then you will see a um, bronze type of color on the uh, dot right here okay now if we click another box completed and then another box completed then that circle will change to silver okay so it's kind of like uh, gold medals you get the bronze the silver and the gold okay so the more that we complete over here then we will have our gold dot over here okay so this is where you would go to complete the missions uh, to edit your missions and mark them all complete okay I'm going to unmark these. All right. Now, um, right below here, we have uh, this click on here. Right here, if you click on the dot, it will say set all missions to gold. And this one will say set all completed missions to gold. Okay. So if you don't want to go clicking through everything, you can just click on this dot and then click on one of these options. If you click on the star, the star will load up um, a little bit more in depth editing. Okay. Um, I suggest to stay away from this part if you really know what you're doing uh, because if you don't know what you're doing and you edit something in here it can lock your save which means that uh, if you try to load up your save you'll be stuck at 90% and it won't never load okay so I will stay out of uh, the missions part where you click on the star okay just go ahead and click on missions and deal with these or click on this little circle right here okay below we have main main missions and then we have strangers for stranger missions you can do the same thing like I explained before in the main missions and then a hundred percent checklist okay this is another thing you can go ahead and take a look at but if you're not familiar with these things then leave them alone okay all right and then if we click on other other category will explain where we could um unlock our director mode animals okay so if you look i have cat right here which is at the top of the list and if you hit the list then a drop down list will drop down and you can select whatever animal you want let's say i uh, select rabbit all right and if i don't have rabbit then it will be unchecked all right it'll be an empty box all right if you want that animal all you have to do is check this box to unlock it all right since i have all of my animals unlocked already um all of them all have to check you don't have to uh click on every animal and then check it you can just check this right here and as you can see an option will pop down saying unlock all okay self-explanatory you click that you'll unlock all the animals all right um, now over here is where you could uh, uh, make your peyotes complete. Um, that way you can have all you're gonna have all the animals regardless once you click these. But uh, you can also click the option to have all the peyotes completed. Okay. Um, over here is um, some more stuff uh, for sale signs destroyed. We have a little mission where Trevor helps this one real estate guy um, sabotage another real estate guy by smashing all of the signs. So you can go ahead and just check these off and that will mark um, that mission as complete. Okay. And as you can see, they have a bunch of tabs down here as well. If you click on pet editor, this is where you can change your, um, your pet. So that's where you could, like if we click on Michael right here, double click on it, a drop down menu will pop up. 
with all of the characters inside the game that we could change Michael into. Everything from a character to an animal, you could change Michael into, okay? Now keep in mind, when you change these characters, it will um, make that character, um, def it won't make the character default, but at the same time, it will be hard for you to go online once you change the main default characters of the game, which is Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. So keep that in mind. When you change any one of these characters, it will become a little harder for you to go online, okay? Um, we got bank transitions, flight schools, unlocks. So uh, when you go to other, just tap on these and uh, see go through all of them uh, get familiar with them if you're not familiar with them do not change everything but i do suggest to just click on all of these and just go all over all of them and look and see what they could do before you make any changes uh just definitely look at them okay um now moving on we have this last category which says more um this one is where you can edit the family data over here if you scroll down um you have friend data player scene data shop robberies website vehicles and block okay so um, we have a lot of things in here this is where you will be editing your Grand Theft Auto 5 saves app once you're done editing your care oh, one more thing right here if you click on character and you click on the hanger this is also where you could change um, your default character which is Franklin Trevor or Michael okay this is where you could also get um, outfits that you can't get in the actor editor part Let's give it some time to load up. All right, now that the current pet editor is opened up, you will have to sign in in order to see anything on this side, okay? Once you sign in, then you can click right here at the top and there will be a drop down menu of all of the outfits that were uploaded to um, that were uploaded or shared through the community with uh, save editor okay as you can see you're gonna see a lot of outfits that you can't get with the with um, the DM um, director mode glitch um, like the white helmets or whatnot uh, the badges you could get inside of the trailer if you do the director mode trailer glitch um, but that's really time-consuming if you're dedicated to that then uh, that's exactly how you get the badges in the, um, the IA badges and things of that nature. Um, scroll down just to show you a couple of little outfits. And then um, once you find one, you can click apply outfit. And then right here, it will enable the mod, okay? Um, once you choose an outfit, you have to enable the mod or you will not see that outfit when you turn on the game. Now, once again, once you apply the outfit that will replace Franklin with your MP character, okay? So your online character will replace Franklin, which means that um, it will say player one at the top instead of Franklin. That will make it hard for you to go online. There is ways around, but you will have to do that research yourself, okay? All right, we're going to disable that. And down here is where we do the um, our director mode outfit edits. All right, we're going to click other and then click on that T-shirt for other. All right. Now, this right here is where you're going to be doing all of your edits to your outfits. I will be doing a video in the near future on that one because I don't want this video to be too lengthy. I just wanted to show people how to get their save from the PS4 to the USB and the USB to the PC and extract the save with Save Wizard and then edit the save with Save Editor, okay? So once you're done doing all of your edits, you can click Save File and it'll say Save was Save Successfully, okay? click OK now we can go ahead and click close file minimize that window now we're gonna open back up our advanced mode window for save editor now we're gonna click on the last icon right here this is import file all right now we're going to click on this extracted save right here that we just edited with our save editor we're gonna click on that and click open all right then you will see a little cursor blinking right there all right all we are going to do right now is press zero on our numpad a message will pop up click continue then click apply then click yes 
give it some time All right, once it is done, you will see a little box pop up saying information, modifications, successfully applied, okay? We're going to click OK. You will see the advanced mode window disappear. Now we can go ahead and close out Save Wizard, all right? So from this point on, um, all we're going to do is take our save back to, your, back to our PS4, all right? All right, now that we are back at our PS4, um, go ahead and plug in your USB into your PS4. And now we are going to go to settings. Go to settings, scroll all the way down to application saved data management. Now we're gonna scroll down to save data on USB storage device, right here. All right, and we're gonna select the top option, which is copy to system storage. All right, Grand Theft Auto 5 right here. We're going to click on. All right, and this is the save that we just edited in Save Editor, okay? It's very important that you remember what save that you edited. So that way, when you turn on the game, you press the pause menu, you go to load game, and you look for that exact save that we just edited. Then you load that game, okay? That's how that works, all right? So we found the save that we just edited. We're gonna click on it, make sure it's checked. Then go over to copy, click copy. Then you will have a message saying, do you want to overwrite this saved data? Click yes, always click yes, because we are replacing the old save with our new save we just edited, okay? So after that's done, we are all done, y'all. That is pretty much it. All you have to do is run the game, okay? Now, I am going to make future videos on getting more in depth with uh, the editor, uh, specifically for direct remote outfits. So stay tuned for that. If this video helped you out, please smash that like button, share the video, comment, definitely subscribe to the channel. This is Games and Graphics, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.